so I wanted to do July favorites real quick. And I haven't really organized too well everything, but I guess I'll start with kind of hair. Um, I've been loving the L'Oreal Ever Style Alcohol Free Stronghold Styling Spray. Um, I spray this on my hair before I curl it, and then afterwards I've been spraying on just the Garnier Fertis, um Sleek and Shine because I figured this will help hold it. But this is a super good, per it's like very strong holding. It makes it not crunchy, but it definitely holds it very well, and it, if I don't spray it in my hair before I curl it, the curl barely forms for my hair, and um, so that makes a huge difference, and I'm actually down to there, and I feel like I just got this bottle. So I really love that, and then I've been loving, hmm, I have a ton of eye stuff. Um, well, my Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive, I put this in the last one, too my June, but I love this um, way better than the little tube glue. I will never go back to that because I will always pick up this over that. Um, it just holds so much better and it's easier to throw in my purse because it's not a tube, it's like a brush screwed on and you can just, um, if a lash pops up just by chance in one of the corners, you just take the brush and you kind of dab there and then set it back down. You don't have to try to take it all off and do the whole thing like I would if I had the tube glue. And then, hmm, I've been loving the Urban Decay 24-7 Perversion Eye Glide Pencil. I do like this. It's a very black black. This and Feline are my very black pencils that I enjoy using. And then I feel like I've never put this in a favorites. Maybe a long time ago, but I still use it. And this, I just picked up a third one. And it's the Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner um, in Black is Black. But I really love this because it just gives a really good line. I didn't use it today, so I can't show. But I love the line it gives. It's one of my favorite things for liquid liner. And it's... My favorites are these and the Physician's Formula Eye Booster, like the Lash Booster one in black, and I like that one, but it's more expensive, and I just end up picking up this one more. Um, where is that brush? The next one is a brush. Oh, it's the Sonia Cusack, um, I'm not sure I say that right, but it's, it's the Curved Eyeliner Brush. So I use this for my gel liner, which I did today. If you can kind of see, it gives a nice, precise, thin line if you want it, or you can thicken it. Um, it's just really, really good. Um, I would choose this over most of the liner brushes I see by top, more expensive brands, because they seem to be thicker, and I just want a thin, thin blush brush. Um... Anything else for eyes? I still love my Great Lash Lots of Lashes. Um, for bottom lashes. Um, some of these are favorites just because I always use them, but I feel like I don't put them in videos because I always use them. And they've been in probably past ones, but I still love them. I still use them, so, uh, yeah. And there's a couple shadows I wanted to mention. I don't usually mention specific shadows, and I put the one set away, but Blackout by Urban Decay. This is just the Naked 2 palette, but it's the matte black. I love that. I think it gives better payoff than even Carbon, which I don't own to be fair, but I have Black Tide instead. And then I've been loving, where is it, Cork, which seems like such a boring shade. It's just like a matte type shade, satin or matte, and it's just a mid-tone brown. But I love this if I'm doing a really light lid. Um, sometimes when I do dramatic black liner, I do a nude lid with just a little bit of cork in the crease to give it dimension, but without overpowering everything. It doesn't look like I tried to shade too much or anything. And then I have really been loving, oh, so many of these. This is probably my favorite palette, which is my really lighter neutral palette. Uh, Woodwinked I've been loving, and I'm wearing that actually today, if you can see it's just a great sheen across the eye. I used that, and then my last favorite eyeshadow I used in the crease, which I'll show in a bit. And then I've been loving Shroom for a highlight, which is just a pale color. And if I do a more, like, the winged liner look, I love using white in the 
inner corner and on the bottom lash line. And this is great for putting over it. I usually use milk or Nix's cottage cheese. And then I put this on top to just set it and it lasts really well and it's just a great white color. And then like all that glitters and naked lunge. Naked lunge, all that glitters. I've been loving for like all over the eye colors. So those are probably big ones that I've just realized are part of my favorites that I just never used to touch that much. And then Carbonized has been in a few favorite videos, but I've just reached for it again, and I'm sure in fall it's going to be a real favorite because it's just a really dark, smoked out brown. And I used that in my crease as well as a little bit on the outer corner, or outer V, just to add dimension, but I really love this shade. And Unfortunately, it was limited edition, but if it ever comes out, I might pick up another one just to make sure I always have it. Because that I could see actually hitting pan on. And I have never hit pan on my eyeshadows just because I tend to vary them so much. I think that will be everything for eyes. Um, cheeks, I only have one. Um, I still love my Dior Amber Diamonds, but for cheek cheeks, um, the Architote by Tarte. I really like this blush. I'm wearing it today, and it's just a really pretty summery blush, and I think um, it'll work really well in summer and spring. Um, fall and winter, I could still see using it, still see using it, but I love it for summer and spring. And I think the color is much more true to the packaging than actually the blush. I don't know. If you can kind of um, see, it's just closer to this packaging color than the blush. The blush looks so much more muted in the packaging than it does when swatched. Um, so I still love Amber Diamonds, but for cheeks, I think that's everything that's really a favorite favorite. Um, lips, I just picked these up. They're the L'Oreal Crest Lipsticks, and I got a few of them. And this one is the one I'm wearing. It is Sunset Angora. And it's just a really pretty peachy color, which, it's like a peachy pink coral. And it goes really well with that Architope blush. You can actually see the packaging. The strip is very true to color on these. It's not showing up very true to color in the camera, but it is. And they just match really well, so ended up being perfect today. But I also got them in um, Cardinal Plume, which is a red one. Um, blushing sequin, which is like a hot pink, kind of, it looks a bit like Impassioned from MAC. And then a true pink, pink vinyl. It's a true pink color. I really like these. Um, they're moisturizing without being too colorful in a way. Um, they're great for summer. I think they'll be really good summer and spring again. And then I've been loving my Revlon Just Bitten Lip Kissables. Um, this one I just picked up, Honey. It's a very natural shade. I'm not sure how much it's a favorite color, but I just got it. So, um, But my favorite two shades that I wear is Cherish, which is a pink, just a like baby mid-tone pink. And then you can tell I wear this one quite a bit. It's Sweetheart. Yep, Sweetheart. And it's a very true pink. It's kind of similar in shade to pink vinyl, but I've been loving this because it really goes well with my pink work shirt, so if I wear a pink lip, I tend to reach for this because it's quick and it's a stain and it lasts a little longer than just a basic lipstick or the gloss. And then also in that line is uh, my Dior, um, this is Dior Lip Glow. So this is a basic color and it's just a light baby pink. It looks very transparent in the tube, but when you put it on your lips, it turns a much more rosier pink color, and it's just really nice and moisturizing. It's super moisturizing, but there's a big price difference. Like, these are not as moisturizing, but these are way cheaper. Um, these I got, like, buy one and get one half off anyways, but they're, like, $8 originally. This is, like, 30 and I don't think I'll repurchase this ever, but it's great because I love it for every day throw in the purse kind of thing. And then, I think that's everything for lips too. Um, two nail polishes I've been really loving. 
Uh, well, this one I just have been loving on and off. Designer to Better. It's just a super pretty metallic shade. I put this on my nails, and even when it started chipping, I couldn't take it off. Like, I just loved it so much. It's so pretty. It's like a light taupey shimmer with, like, really sparkly silver. Or it's a silver with lots of topaz shimmer. I don't know. It's just super pretty. And I love metallics slightly. It's one of the things I've been also favoriting. And then the other one I just got not too long ago. It's Flip Flop Fantasy from China Glaze, and it's a uh, neon, so it's not going to show up even half correctly, but it's just a really bright coral, corally pink, and it's so pretty, and I can't wait. I'm going to wear this on my nails next week for sure. And then, um, for accessory favorites, um, I'll do perfume real quick. Um, I've been loving Gucci Guilty. It's one of my favorites like one that was like a must have smell because it just smells so good and I can wear it daytime, nighttime. It's kind of more of a nighttime scent I think for most people. And also Love Rocks, which I broke this. It doesn't spray anymore I don't think, but I love this perfume. It was limited edition from Victoria's Secret, but I have the lotion and I put it on today and I really love the lotion smell obviously because it's the same. And then for accessories again, I've been loving the heart-shaped glasses. So I just got these finally, well, a little bit ago, but I really love these. They're just um, gold heart-shaped glasses with like a brownish toned lens. And I think these are really chic and cute. And then these I think I put in my last one too, and they're just bright plink, pink plastic heart ones. And they're really cute, and I love these. They're definitely not sophisticated, but they're just fun and cute, and I just love the heart-shaped glasses thing, I guess. Um, maybe if I could find silver ones, I would be all set, but I haven't seen them anywhere. And then the last thing is kind of the rose gold trend, which I've been loving. So I have this rose gold cuff, which I don't know how much I like this because it picks up fingerprints really badly but it's still really pretty and shiny. And then I have a rose gold uh, bow ring that I really love. And these two were from Little Black Bag, but it's just super cute. I love bows also, anything bows. And I have a few hoop earrings. I'll just show these because they're kind of a cool design from American Eagle. And then I have um, Penny Talk, which even though it's supposed to be more copper, it comes off a little bit more rose gold to me. But I really like that. So, all sorts of stuff. And then, <laughs> lastly, if you've seen my rose gold obsessions, you see all this stuff. Because, yeah, I have been obsessed. And Maybelline Luminous Lights um, palette. I really like this palette. I should have included it just in my regular favorites. But this one is kind of a rose gold color. And it's the biggest one. This one's kind of a little bit of a bronzy color golden and then this one's kind of interesting it's whitish but it's a yellow tone gold white so it's really pretty and it's super highlighty it'd be great for an inner corner I maybe wouldn't use it on the top though because it's very 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 sheeny um but I think that's all my favorite oh one more and then I'm done I promise I've been liking these just because um they're the simple sensitive skin experts cleansing facial wipes and my friend actually said she really likes the Say Yes to Tomatoes, is that the one? Something like that. Or Say Yes to Carrots. It's one of those um, type cleansing wipes. I can't remember which one she really liked, but I might pick up that just because I'm not in love with just these. It's just the fact that um, if I'm lazy and don't want to take my makeup off, I can just wipe these all over my face and get off what I need to to sleep. And so I've been loving these. And I used to keep them in the bathroom, but honestly, I don't think to go into the... If I'm not going in the bathroom to wash my face, I'm not going to go in there to grab a wipe. So now I'm trying to leave them in my bedroom, like, as close to the bed as possible, so that if I'm super tired, I can just literally wipe off everything, throw it away, and go. So those are some... <laughs> those are a lot of favorites. I feel like I had a lot more than usual. But I really loved all of those things, so hopefully they stick around and hopefully summer 
when it ends won't leave me with no favorites because some of these I feel like are just so good for summer. They might not be the best for winter and especially Wisconsin's winter. So I will talk to you all later. Bye.